Hey guys, this is Einar. Uh, welcome to your fourth tutorial. I hope you're doing great today. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to uh, c talk about moving values between cells and moving relational cells between cells. So we're going to start out by writing uh, the days of the week. We're going to count the days of the week, and if we did this by hand, we would have to write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven which is kind of tedious to do by hand, especially if you have a really huge data sets. So a trick you could use is uh, you could tell Excel to uh, expand these numbers using a pattern because days of the week always increases by one. So the first day is one, the second day is two. It increases by one day. If I want to increase the next cell by one day, just like I did here, I highlight both of these and I see the little black square here in the corner. I hold my cursor over that till the cursor changes to a black cross and I pull it down. Now when I pull it down, I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is extremely convenient when you have huge data sets. You can just pull down and, and, and create patterns in your data using this simple little drag, click and drag function. Uh, another version of this is, of course, if I don't put any patterns, I just put a 1, and I want to write 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, all the way down, I could highlight my cell with the value I want to copy down. I hold my cursor over to become a black cross and I pull it down and we get one 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 one. Now notice the difference here because we are using just data. We're not creating any relationships between these cells. If I change this to a two, these do not become twos. It's just a two. That's an interesting thing just to keep track of. Uh, now say I want to move this data and I want to move it there. Just skip over this column right here. Well, I could highlight it like this, and I could pull it over, but then I would have to delete all this, uh, num all these numbers that show up in between, which can be annoying. So there's a different way we can use the copy and paste function. So I go and I write copy of days. I highlight my data. Right click, I click copy. And when you click copy in Excel, you notice the borders around the area that you have copied become animated. So you know that this is something that has been copied we're doing something with this right now. I click on the cell I want to copy the numbers to. I right click and I choose paste. Now same as before, if I change this, this doesn't change. It's just a copy, a direct copy of data from there to there. So we have a new set of data, which is the copy. Another version of this is if I want to move this data. I want to I wanted to remove it here and I want it to be here instead. So nothing here and move the data there. Well, I can use the cut function. So we write cut from days and I write like so same as before I highlight the data right click I choose cut with the scissors right there we get the same animation there but I click in the cell right click and I choose paste and you can see the data has been moved from there to there this is the cut function now let's say we have a relational cell so we're gonna create one just by adding these days together uh, simply so I, I say relational days. I know it doesn't make any sense, but let's just call it that for now. So it's a relational um, variable, so you click equal to 1 plus 1. And I press enter. Now what happens if I pull down this, just like I did when I was uh, doing making patterns using the cell? Well, we hold our cursor over there, create a black cross, and we pull it all the way down. Now, as you can see here, 7 plus 7 is 14. 6 plus 6 is 12. So what we've done is we've taken the relationship between, if I double click this, you'll see, the relationship between this cell and this cell, and we've moved it all down one step. So when I click here, you see it's been moved down. Same here. It's been, mo it's been moving down. Oops. Be careful when you do it. Oh. Be careful when you do it so you don't click wrong. This is one way of copying down relational, relational variables. Uh, if I... Um, if I, there's another way of doing it. If I want to have 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3, 1 plus 4, so I don't want to move the first operator down, I just want to uh, add 1 to all of these values, this is the way of doing that too. So I begin by deleting that and I write equal sign. Same as before in the beginning, you know, it's 1 plus the first cell right there. But in order to tell Excel that, okay, I want this cell to stay the same all the way through when I'm pulling, dragging this cell down. I enter a dollar sign in between the, the column and the row. 
information, which is E6. E6. So enter, if I enter dollar sign in between them, it means, okay, fixate these both. I don't want it to change when I drag it down. Press enter. It's still equal to 2, just like before. But this time, when I hold my cursor over here and I pull it down, I get 1 plus 1, as you see there. And I get 1 plus 2. I get 1 plus 4. Or one, sorry, 1 plus 3, which is equal to 4. I get 1 plus 4, which is, which is equal to 5, etc. Just out of curiosity, I'm kind of curious, we could try fixating this one too. So it's 1 plus 1. So if I put a dollar sign in between these two and I pull it down, we get 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, because we fixated both of, both of these cells. This cell plus this cell. This cell plus this cell. And this cell plus this cell. So that's one way you can work with with the relational variables. And as before, we might want to move uh, the, the data we've created here, the information we've created in these cells, to be more correct, to this place. So let's say I highlight this, and I just want to move the values of this column. I don't want to move the relationship. I just want to copy the values. I go right-click, copy, just like before, and I mark this cell, right-click, but I choose Paste Special. Now this gives me a menu where I can choose what part of the information which is stored in these relational cells I want to move over because a relational cell con contains formulas, it contains the information that we're adding this plus this, but it also contains values which is the result you get when you add these two. Say I choose values because I don't want to move the formulas, I just want the values, I want to save them somewhere so if I change the information here I'll still have the results from before. So I click OK, I choose values, click OK and I get my twos over here. Notice now that if I change this, I add one here, so I say this is two. I hit enter. This will change to three because I'm adding two plus one equals three. But since we didn't copy the relational information from these cells over here, these will still be two. So that's just some basics on how you can move data around when you're creating big data sets. And uh, I hope you'll have a good time with playing around with this. It's a fun function. And uh, have a nice day. I'll see you in tutorial 5.